yes, I know <laughs> I've been procrastinating to make the video I, and I'm finally got around, got some time to get to it. All right. Now, this one is no, 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 it is not about helium. It's about block dag. Now, I was sent the video and asked to do a review on it, of course, by one of the legends. And here I am about to do it. Now, back in 2020, helium came out. You know, it dragged, as you can see here on the chart, it dragged for a little bit until about what, 20. Jeez, you can't even get in here until about 2021, almost a year. And you can see what it did during the, the last, well, the first bull run in 2021, almost up to $50 per token. Now, the only reason that I'm referring to Helium is because Helium had a similar kind of um, protocol where you could purchase the internet hubs, I guess you can call them that, and you can distribute them and use them and you would earn some of the rewards back. And of course, then they came out with a way to mine the helium tokens. Then they even moved into the cellular with the 5G. So this is just what helium did. But just looking at helium, of course, the current price now is $4.55. And like I say, it started at like 27 cent, hit $50 in the peak. Then it went back down to $1.33, and we can see where it's currently at. So now we're going to get into block dag. So I'm going to cover block dag, and you know how I usually do. We start with the review of the white paper, then we go to the UI, then we go into the socials, then we're going to go through the dashboard and all that kind of good stuff. Let's engage. All right, so first thing, the block dag white paper. Now let me tell you, this has been the most technical white paper ever. I am really, when I say I'm going to breeze through it, I mean literally I'm going to breeze through it and just pick out some important factors to me. You have to KRS one. You already know knowledge reigns supreme over nearly everyone is 23 pages long. I'm not trying to make an hour and a half long video going through all the pages. I'm just going to skim through. I will have the link in the description. As always, you go through and especially for my techies, my DJ techies. This is the information that you need. Let's engage. All right. So let's go on through. This is the version two DAG paper, and this one was highly anticipated. Okay, so Dagstract. The evolution of the blockchain technology has been a, has been swift since the inception of Bitcoin, marked by continual advancements and the emergence of new challenges. Among these challenges lies the blockchain trilemma. <laughs> yeah, that's not dilemma, you know, just two, no, three different issues, encompassing security, scalability, and decentralization. We know as DGENs, it's all about decentralization. We want the power. So traditionally, blockchain networks have grappled with balancing these three parameters. Block DAG represents an innovative approach aimed at addressing this trilemma. This paper introduces a protocol. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's continue on. Like I said, it's your responsibility to go all the way through. Evolution of chain. Reimagining DLT with block DAG. The realm of distributed ledgers has witnessed a remarkable evolution, spearheaded by blockchain technology. Blockchains have revolutionized data security and trust, offering an immutable record of transactions across the centralized network. However, as blockchain adoption grows, limitations in scalability and transaction speeds have emerged. Direct acrylic graphs. Point number one, please understand that is what block DAG the name, the DAG part of DAG is for because of course we're talking about blockchain. Directed acrylic graphs and again let me continue so directed acrylic graphs have emerged as a potential solution offering parallel processing and faster th throughput yet dag often comes with trade-offs in terms of security and decentralization then it goes into blockchain now i'm not going to go into that if you're already in crypto you should already know what a blockchain is like i said you're going to get whether you know it if you don't when you read it you will so then you got the blockchain. Then we go ahead to DAG. The directed acrylic graphs offer a potential solution to blockchain scalability woes. Unlike blockchains, DAGs don't delay on, oh, excuse me, they don't rely on linear blocks like a, a like a chain. Instead, transactions reference previous validated 
transactions, enabling parallel processing and potentially faster transaction speeds. This makes DAG ideal for high throughput applications. However, achieving security and decentralization on par with blockchains remains a challenge for some DAG implementations. And then come along block DAG. So block DAG is a hybrid concept that combines features of both traditional blockchains and the, the, the digital acrylic graphs or the DAGs. It retains the benefits of DAG, such as high scalability and faster transaction processing, while integrating the security and trust of blockchain consensus mechanisms. Block DAG emerges as a groundbreaking solution. That's why everybody's so excited about it, meticulously emerging the strengths of both blockchain and DAG architectures. It leverages the robust security and decentralization of blockchains while incorporating the efficient, scalable transactions processing of DAGs. Okay, see, I'm only on page three. We are already getting too long. Then the introduction, I'm just going to breeze through. Blockchain networks have Bitcoin, like such as Bitcoin and ETH or POW or proof of work versions operate on the proof of work model where miners are responsible for creating blocks. Each block consists of transactions submitted by users, a proof of work puzzle, and a reference of the previous block. These networks follow a linear chain structure where new blocks were appended to the end of the longest chain while disregarding the other blocks. Now I'm just going to skip through. Block Diag Network introduces a novel protocol that utilizes a direct acrylic graph structure to organize the blocks, hence termed block DAG. Unlike traditional blockchain architecture where the reference a single previous block, the blocks in block DAG reference all leaf nodes of the DAG. This approach enables the inclusion of more blocks, thereby accommodating more transactions and achieving higher throughput. However, realizing the objective presence presents the several um, challenges. Firstly, there's a need to mitigate the inclusions of the blocks. Second is the, the method of linearly order the DAG to determine the sequence. Okay, let's keep on going. And then they go through the stuff here. <laughs> and then they go into the protocol. Before delving into the protocol, it's prudent to establish a new foundation of the definitions. So then they go into the definitions here. This is what I'm saying. You have to overstand so you know what you're investing in here, should you choose to. Then you got the intuition between the honest blocks, select a well, connect the um, cluster, the algorithmic one choosing the cluster. Then it goes into the steps here, the five steps there. Okay, like I said, this for my um, Dejan text, this is for you. All right. Because like sometimes, like my, I know how my car works as long as it gets me where I got to go. So <laughs> it is what it is. Then they go into the benefits. So here, prioritizing the heaviness, the benefits, the limitations, the security. Security of the phantom protocol is upheld by several crucial pillars. Then the, the, the honest majority assumption, the ghost, the ghost DAG and chain dominance. The ghost DAG, which is the greedy harvest excuse me the greedy heaviest observed sub dag algorithm serves as a cornerstone in securing the phantom network see they they trying to cover all the aspects then ooh, this is a different one probabilistic security it is essential to recognize that phantoms security guarantees the probabilistic rather than absolute then there's limitations of trade-off the np hardness the attack vectors Notable, um, notable features of the block DAG network, quick and efficient. Block DAG facilitates rapid transactions processing with DAG architecture. Transactions are confirmed in near real time, eliminating delays. So they, they bring in time, trying to come with the speed of Solana because we know how fast Solana is supposed to be. It's just the, the, the DEXs on Solana are terrible. Um, the speed unlocks new use cases especially in time sensitive application streamlining user experiences so imagine block dag for gamers because in game you want to get your shot off first so you, you need the speed you don't all you need is uh, you know what i'm saying low transaction fees block dag puts an end to exorbitant transaction fees like eth Ooh, we already already know it its efficient design reduces computational overhead allowing you to enjoy a full excuse me, the full benefits of the network without emptying your wallet. This inclusivity opens up blockchain technology to a wider audience. They come in for ETH and Litecoin. Okay, down here it says, individuals are empowered to participate in, oh, 
Individuals are empowered to participate with without worrying about fees. Businesses can leverage blockchain without high fees eating into profit. And the block deck offers high transactions throughput of 10,000 to 15,000 transactions per second. So if you don't know, now you know. Let me move this over and make it a little bit bigger. EVM compatibility. BlockDAG aligns seamlessly with the Ethereum virtual machine. Developers can effortlessly deploy existing Ethereum-based smart contracts, accelerating the project development. This compatibility offers access to rich toolkit of resources and established communities within the blockchain landscape. So now it's easily to deploy existing Ethereum. Ethereum-based smart contracts, accelerating development, tap into the vast ecosystem of tools, resources, and communities, and leverage the proven technology. All right, then it goes into scalability, the, the BlockDAG network ecosystem, low code, no code. BlockDAG payment, they got a pay, um, payment card. We're going to see all of that when we go into the website. The BlockDAG token. Now here, the BlockDAG token or the BDAG serves as the foundational native coin and utility coin within the BlockDAG ecosystem, playing a pivotal role in facilitating various operations and interactions within the network. As the lifeblood of the ecosystem, BDAG empowers users, validators, and decentralized application developers alike, forging a vibrant and sustainable digital economy. And then you can read all of the notes there. You got the transaction fees. Um, player to player or person to person transactions, staking rewards. This, okay, so we need to definitely get. So, the transaction fees. One of the many primary functions of the BDAG is to serve as the medium for transaction fees within the Block DAG network. Person to person. The BDAG can also be used for peer to peer. Okay, so they use peer to peer transactions, enabling users to transfer funds directly between wallets on the Block DAG network. Check. Staking rewards. BDAG also plays a crucial role in the staking mechanisms of BlockDAG. Validators who stake their BDAG tokens participate in the consensus mechanism to contribute to the security and integrity of the network. Hey, if you don't want to know. Now, back in 2017, 18, me and my son were doing master nodes, and it, it, we essentially were doing the same thing, but with different tokens. Anyhow, let me continue. Now, this incentivizes validators to uphold the network's consensus rules and maintain a decentralization of block DAG. Then there's the DAP access. We're going to skip that. You can read that. How to mine DAG. Now, mining BDAG and block DAG network requires careful setup and configuration. Follow the steps. Then there's the hardware setup, the establishing your network connection, mine pool configuration. So, of course, they have miners. You're going to see those when we go to the... Uh, website. Okay, then with the tokenomics, this is what we want to cover here. BlockDAG or BDAG boasts a total supply of 150 billion coins, demonstrating its rarity and dedication to preserving value, to maintain a controlled environment and prevent excessive inflation. Check, check, overstand. BlockDAG network implements a halving event every 12 months, similar to Bitcoin. If you don't know, now you know. This, ooh, this is going to be good. Max supply, $150 billion. Pre-sale allocation, 33% or $49 billion, $500 million. One of the total, of the, out of the total supply, 50 billion coins are earmarked for the pre-sale phase, which we are in now. We're going to get into that in a minute. The community allocation, 66% or $99 billion. So you have nine, the miners, 80%. The backbone of the block deck security and reliability lies in its miners. With an allocation of 78.8 billion coins, early miners are duly rewarded for their, con for their contributions, while also incentivizing future miners to actively participate in network maintenance. Community building, 15% or 14 billion, 850 million tokens. And that's going to go toward fostering community ecosystem educational program courses, hackathons, seminars, and conferences. Then the you have the remaining, you have 5% here, which is 4,900,000,000 tokens, which goes to the liquidity pool. And then, of course, 1% goes to the team, which is consists of 990 million tokens. That is the tokenomics. And important legal considerations, please overstand. Um, problem statement, scalability. And then they offer solutions. Always the problem. Discover the problem. 
create the solution. Technical buildup, and then they go through similar to their roadmap, April, May, June through August. And the, 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 the apps here, and then into the glossary. All right, so that's enough of the white paper. Again, the, and the link will be in the description. Please overstand it. KRS, when knowledge reigns supreme over nearly everyone, it's your responsibility to go through that white paper, all 23 pages, and get the information that you need in order to make a wise decision. All right, enough with that. Let's go. Now, as you can see here, they went on the sphere. If you're not in the United States and you're watching me, in Las Vegas, they have this new ball. Um, I don't know if you want to call it a stadium or auditorium, but on the outside of the ball, look it up. It's called the sphere. And it, it is amazing. It looks they can make it look like a basketball. They can show items like that. It, it's amazing. The moon, they do the sun. But what they did, what Block Dag did was purchase the advertising space, of course, as you can see here, when they released the DAG paper version two or the Block Dag um version two white paper. And like it says here, the pre-sale is live. Let's go on through and we're on the website. The pre-sale, so far in pre-sale, they've already raised $27.6 million to date. Then they go into Block Dag, crypto mining for all. Experience the simplest and most rewarding crypto mining from anywhere. Then it says swipe, you can swipe. Then it goes, oh, let me use my finger. Do I do it? Okay, there we go. And then it goes into, now when we get into the miners, there's four different miners. We're gonna cover that in a second. Then the, now the dev releases. Now what they did, the dev team, every single day is what they put out is what they call a dev release. And it will pop into your dashboard or you can come here to the website and you can see it. So it's letting you know every single day what's going on. As you can see here, we got the 15th, 16th, 17th of May. Then you can go back and right here, you can see all the previous dev releases. So we're on dev 33. So you can go back all the way to dev one if you choose to use. Then of course you have some other YouTubers that have done some videos on it. Then we already know what block DAG is. Powered by, I got some of the, the items that are powered by. Core attributes, coin acquisition, the mining rigs and the mobile mining. We are, we're going to get into that. Speed redefined, security reimagined. Those were the two issues that they wanted to cover. Spread the word. That's what we're talking about now. Then the roadmap. Of course, you have the socials. You have Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, WhatsApp. You have um, Discord. And then there goes the roadmap. So launch phase. Then you have the development phase here, which we can see. Then the pre-launch phase, which we are in right now, which is developing a command line for direct blockchain integrations for the EVM, incorporate visuals, enable the wallet functionalities, establish the technical support team, and then find the final phase, launch the development network and the initial testing, conduct external data beta testing. So, hey, then you can download the roadmap. We already went over the tokenomics of how it's all broken down to the last compound. Then, of course, press, Bloomberg, Daily Coin, Coin Telegraph. It's it's been all over the news. If you haven't seen it, I'm I'm totally surprised. Then there's some frequently asked questions. You can go in there and check that out on your own. Support of the mission. And then of course you can sign up. And then, like I said, down here with the social, you have Telegram, Discord, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. If you are going to invest in BlockDag, you have to be in the social so you know what's going on. You don't want to miss. Oh, and right here, this is a, I guess this is a good uh, summarization of BlockDag. BlockDag is a layer one proof of work consensus mechanism that involves the crypto sphere with a cutting edge DAG or directed acrylic graph structure, building out the foundation of Bitcoin and Casper. All right, so that's pretty much it for the website. Then up here uh, in the main menu at the top of the page, you can see the different um, links you have, the keynote. Now, with the keynote, you can go in there and see the keynote speaker, him. I'm not going to play it right now. And you can listen to that. It's really good. It's really informative. Then, of course, the dev releases we talked about. Then we're gonna, Now, we're going to go into the products. Now, 
you have the crypto mining rigs. So we got the block DAG payment card. It's not released yet. Of course, you know, as we get closer to launch, they just go through the card there. That's the way you're going to be able to use your rewards from your mining. If you choose to mine fast and effortless, live conversion rate, high value economical fees, relentless support and safety and scalability. Then you have the miners, as I was talking about earlier in the white paper. So these are the, the miners. You have the free version, the the, DAG, the block DAG X1. This is that you can mine on your phone. What you do is download the miner and you can mine on your phone. Then this, okay, there's more examples of that. Okay. Then, so this is what they call mobile mining. Seamlessly mine BDAG coins on your smartphone, eliminating the need for specialized hardware or extensive energy consumption. Then cutting edge algorithm, daily engagement, transparent ranks as you rank up. Then you got the block DAG 10. Now the block DAG 10 is one of the miners that you're gonna have sitting in your house connected to the internet. And then let me show the other pictures here. You can see that there. That one looks more like a little um, internet hub. Same thing, the mining hardware, the hash rate, energy efficient, scalability and upgrade. So you can always, so if you purchase just one X10, you can always add more X10s if you choose to use. Then you have the X30. Did I skip one? Because no, the X10, the X30. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm going right. Okay, this is the medium one. Now this is the X30. You can see the X30 gets more looking like a computer you know, when your home system systems at uh, home. Mining hardware, uh, the hash rate. This one gives you 280 gigahertz, energy efficient, as well as scalable and upgradable. Then you got the X100, which is the big one of them all. Now with this one, as you can see here, go through the photos. This is a little bit bigger. Okay. Now with this one. The mining hardware, the hash rate, this one gives you two tera hashes, energy efficient, of course, and scalable and upgradable. So those are the different miners that you had to choose from. So up here on the menu, you had the products. We had the, the we went over the card, we went over the four miners. So let's, the, the competition, you can watch that yourself. Then there's a calculator so you can calculate your earnings from the miner if you do choose to use and purchase one. When you come down here, you can take control of your earnings and then you can just plug in the numbers here. Now, one thing I want you to understand now, like I said, we are in the pre-sale. So when the pre-sale started way back here, let me see if I can move this back to here. When the block DAG first released, you could see the token price was batch one was 0 0.0010. Yeah, the current price is 0 0.008. And what happens each batch, the price goes up by 0 0.001. So if we go back to reset here, bam, you can see. So today, when you're watching the video, you say, okay, well, seven, I want to get in. You're going to pay 0 0.008. We are on batch 37. So when the coins are going, the coins are going. So if you choose to use, like you said, in FA, I don't give no financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor. Getting in today is one way, way, way more advantageous than waiting. Well, I'm going to wait and see what happens. When you wait and see, are you going to wait till launch? We already know at launch, the price is going to be five cent. Period. In the, in the discussion, <laughs> that's the way it's going to be. So then we can see here, let's take it all the way down here to launch. Okay, see a launch right there, you can see it. 0.5 cent, oh, it keeps moving. It's gonna be five cent at launch. So you already X'd how many times, it's gonna be hard to determine because it depends on when you bought your, your tokens. So then it breaks it down into the different miners up here. So if you get the, oh, let me, why is this thing still, okay, let's set it there. So at launch and you bought the, you're using it on your telephone, every day you're gonna make a dollar on your telephone, or you're gonna make earn 20 BDAGs. If you have the X10, you're gonna earn $10. The X30, $30. And if you have the big the big one, you're gonna earn $100 a day or 2000 BDAG tokens. Now this is based on five cents per token. 
So we're not, I'm not going to go crazy because I know the consensus right now is saying that it's going to be over like a dollar or something, or at least in the future, it's going to be a dollar. Why my calculator didn't come up? Okay. I'm just figuring maybe oh, 25 cents. So I got me one of the X10s. So with my 200 tokens at a day times 0.25, that's $50 a day or $1,500 a month just from having the one small miner. And that's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to get extravagant. We don't even have to go that high. We can just say, okay, let it double. And it'll go, so we do $200 times 10 cent. That's $20 a day. In a month, we are talking $600 a month. <sighs> yeah, so you can sit here and play with the calculator. Then it goes in how to buy. We're going to do that in a second. And then, of course, they have the mechanics, the pillars, the news, the blogs, and the press kit. So that takes care of the website. So now we're going to go to my dashboard. So now we at the dashboard. Okay, let it do what it's going to do. It's got to connect. Okay, so now we are connected. So in the dashboard, and they just um, released this. So this is this is really nice because you can see everything. You can see the amount of tokens that you have. They are giving you the value of your tokens at launch. So say you bought $10 worth of tokens now. It's going to show an example here of what your token is going to be valued at at launch. Then, of course, you're going to have your earnings. Of course, once the um, protocol is launched, you're going to see more information. Then now here they have the turtle and the fish. <laughs> and as you can as you purchase more tokens, you move on up or you rank up, I guess you could say it's a better way to put it. Now you say, well, L7, you know, I read the wipe. Let me see. So L7, let me let's go through with the seven steps because, you know, L7, we're going to have seven steps. First step was to watch the rest of the video. That's number one. Number two, you're gonna read, you're gonna watch the keynote by the by the guy that I just showed you the, the keynote um, video. You're gonna do a deep dive into the white paper. That's step three. Step four, you're gonna make your decision. Like I, you already know, this is an individual endeavor. You do what's best for you, your family, and your family finances. If you choose to even just say, "Well, I'll say I just want to get some coins and." take away my X's on my coins. Okay. Well, no, 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 L7. I want to do something. I want to at least get a minor or you can use the free one on the phone, whatever you're going to do. So that's going to be, that's step number four. Step five, either buy your coins or buy your miner, whatever you're going to do. Step six, you're going to devise your strategy. You always want to have that strategy going in. Okay, well, I'm going to buy these coins. I'm going to sell a portion at this amount, at this amount, and at this price. Well, I'm going to get the miner and, you know, I'm going to, you know, set it up, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then, of course, number seven, get into the socials. If you're going to choose to use, you got to be in the social so you know what's going on. Anyhow, so if you want to buy some coins, you have the ability to purchase your tokens with either Bitcoin, you got USTD Tron, Casper, Dogecoin, Shiba Coins, and you can use ETH, you can use USDT, and or you can use BNB. The choice is yours. But wait, you can even use your credit card. There should be a credit card thing here somewhere, other cryptocurrencies. Let's see, there was a, saw something in there. Okay, so you could use Soul, XRP, <laughs> Polygon, um, Phantom, and ADA as well. So then you would just put in here how much, say, you wanted to use one BNB. So if I choose BNB and I put one BNB, that's going to earn me 72,117. One, excuse me, 17,170,000 000 BDAG tokens with one full BNB. That's just it. So then you say, no, so I want to get in a miner. So then you come over here to the miners. And with the miners, you have the same um, options to purchase with. The, like I say, the free one, the, the block DAG X1 is on the phone. So you, once the app is available, you'll see that up there in that red thing up here we're going to show they saying that it's like 24 to 48 hours or something to get approval ah, you will come back so then you say well i want to get an x1 so then you determine what you want to use to pay it with and how many here you're going to decide well i want 10 miners you're going to put in your 10 miners and you're good to go now to see the value of the miners you can always start with 
because these are $130 right now. Now, I have no idea if the price is going to go up later on because now I know with the helium miners, they started at a certain price too, but then they were so hard you couldn't even find them anymore. So I, I hey, <laughs> it is what it is. So you can see here, the X10 is $130. The X30 is $600. The X100 is $1,500. So those are the current prices of the miners. Like I say, if they're going to go up, I don't know. But this is the type of information that you need to be paying attention to if you go, you choose to invest because it is what it is. So that's how you get into there. Then, of course, you got the buy now. You got the leaderboard. And you can see the leaderboard over here. Now, with these whales, the whales are in here. This person has already spent almost a half a million dollars. He could have came in and bought 50 of the X100 miners and put them in his garage and, and at $100 a piece, that's $5,000 a day. Anyway, am, am I right? So he's, so we'll just take this whale. Say so the whale came in and spent, oh man, half a million dollars. I don't know what. So we'll just say he has $100 million, So we'll take $100,000 out of there and divide that by... How much was the miner? We're going to go to X100. I think it was 1500. The X1, yes, 1500. So let's go back to the calculator. So that, divide that by $1500. He's going to get 66 machines. Okay. So now, whoops. So now with his 66 machines times $100 a day, He's going to make $6,660 a day. Excuse me, $6,600 a day. Now, multiply that by 30 days. He's going to make <laughs> $198,000 a month. Jeez. Anyhow, but that that's just on, we don't know how he, this, he or she, let me divvy up the their purchase. So as you can see here, like I said, all it shows here is just that that person spent, oh, this is number one up here. The number one person spent 658,286. And oh, they only oh, just bought, bought tokens. Ah, can we see? Oh, they don't show all the other ones. Oh, they don't open up. So this person just bought tokens. They spent almost $700,000 in tokens, no miners. Mm, 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 mm. Jeez. All right. So that's that for that. <laughs> okay. Let's go out into the socials real quick because the video is getting too long. So, of course, you got to be in the block dag socials. Like I say, you need to know what's going on. And right now, they're doing the pre sale and a $2 million giveaway. And then, like I said, go through the socials. I'm not going to go all the way through the socials. There goes that. The keynote that I was talking about. And it's a really good keynote. And he breaks it down. He talks about the miners. He talks about the token. Oh, excuse me. I got to sneeze. <sighs> oh, excuse me. In the mining and the building and the earning. And like I say, it's 27.6 raised so far in the pre sale. The dev releases, which is the daily information or the dev update daily. Now, I tell you. Out of, out of being in, or excuse me, after being in so many protocols and then the dev say something, then six weeks pass, no, no word, nothing. You haven't heard anything. This is different. This is the first protocol. Well, it's not the first protocol because I know, no, this is one of the biggest protocols that I've seen that has something put out every day. So you know exactly what's going on. Shout out to your Roddy. So definitely get into the socials. I'm going to end the video there. So as always, this is for informational, educational purposes only. This never intended any type of financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm here to share information on BlockDag. Yes, I'm excited about it. I'm invested in it because that's my decision I'm making. I give no financial advice because financial advice, I am not a financial advisor. And you already know KRS1, knowledge reigns supreme over nearly everyone. You need to follow those seven steps. Again, watch the rest. Well, you already know, watch the video because we're at the end of the video. Second thing you're going to do is read the watch their keynote speech by him right here then number three read the white paper number four make your decision number five is you're going to do coins and or the minor or both then number six is your strategy and number seven is get into the socials
So as always, this is an individual endeavor. Do what's best for you, your family, and your family's finances because no one else gives a damn and no one else knows those numbers but you. You already know. So that's it. Uh, all the links will be in the description. I have the link in the description for the white paper. I have the link in the descriptions for the protocol. If you choose to use, that's up to you. I appreciate it. And as always, all I ask is that you please like, share, comment, and subscribe. So all my techies and my DGen legends out here, this is, hey, we're going to see how this plays out. If it, if it works and it does what it's supposed to do, this is going to be a pretty, uh, I'm going to say a very lucrative uh, protocol and investment going into the bull run. Engage.